Lucy and I'm a tutor on Cambly. Today you'll be learning some tips on how to write a great email. Tip number one, use an informative subject line which says what the email is about. Don't just write a simple hello as your subject line. A good subject line is short, relevant to the email and easily searchable so that if the recipient wants to find it later, they can search for a keyword such as birthday or Friday meeting to find the email again. For example, if we want to send an email to set up a meeting with some colleagues, we could write something along the lines of sales team meeting at 5 p.m. Friday as our subject line. So all the most important information is already there. Tip number two, be polite but not overly friendly in your business emails. Start your email in a friendly way before launching into the main reason for your email by saying something like, Dear Mr. Smith, I hope you're well. Or if you know the person a bit better, you could say, Hi John, I hope you had a good weekend before going into the main subject of your email. It is equally important to finish your email in the same way and sign off your email either by thanking them or by using a phrase like kind regards or best wishes, followed by your name. Use the conditional tense throughout your email to keep the tone polite. For example, if you are asking for something from them, you could say something like, could you check these documents for me? Or would you be able to check these documents for me? The use of would and could keeps the email polite. It is also important to avoid writing in all capital letters as this would be considered as shouting in real life. And also to avoid using emoticons, abbreviations or other slang, unless you know the person well, as this is quite an informal way to write. Tip number three, keep your email concise and follow the structure of purpose, action, salutation when writing your email. Business emails in particular are usually short and to the point with a maximum of around two paragraphs, as people tend to scan emails for information. So make use of white space and use only two lines per paragraph to make the message easy for people to read. Let's start with the beginning of our email, the purpose. So let's think about why you are writing the email and also remember to introduce yourself if you are writing to someone you do not already know. Here's an example. Hello, I hope all is well with you. My name is Jane Smith and I work for the London Marketing Company. I'm writing because I would like to offer our marketing services to your company. Now let's move on to the action. So what is the goal of the email? Are you wanting to give them information or ask for something from them? Let's take our example again. The action of this email could be to let them know about a discount that we are doing to promote sales. So you could write, at the moment we are offering a discount of 10% on all our marketing packages. Here is our website for more details. Finally, let's close our email with our salutation, a polite way to sign off our email. In this example, we could say, if you have any questions or would like any further information, then please let me know. Kind regards and follow this with your name. Tip number four, double check your email for mistakes before sending. This one might sound really obvious, but especially if you're sending your email for business purposes, remember to proofread it. If there are lots of errors in your email, it can look unprofessional and often it will be deleted straight away, even if the actual information the email contains is really interesting. To sum up, the four tips to remember when writing an email are, Number one, use an informative subject line, telling the reader what the email is about. Number two, be polite but not overly friendly in your tone throughout your email. Number three, keep your email brief and to the point, following the structure of purpose, action, salutation. And number four, double check your email for any errors before you press send. I hope this has given you some useful information on the best way to write an email. For those who are unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers like me. You can take English lessons anytime, anywhere, 
right from your phone or computer. Schedule your next lesson with me using the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.